Here's the number one reason I would not buy a home in 2024. It's really simple and not a lot of real estate agents because they want to make the sale are going to be honest with you and tell you this. But here's what I would not do in 2024 if I was going to buy a home. I would not purchase a home if my income was really unstable. I'm talking about very up and down. Right now, I'm seeing a lot of my home buyers like physicians and teachers, officers, uh, people in the military, those people who tend to have steady income are not as concerned about buying right now. And the reason you would be concerned about buying right now is because, you know, the marketplace is very up and down right now. The government is trying to tame inflation by slowing down the economy. There are lots of jobs that are affected by that. So if you have one of those jobs where it's maybe slowing down or things are very up and down, I would be very hesitant right now on what home you purchase. doesn't mean I wouldn't buy, but I would probably err on the side of the low end of my budget and make sure that I still have plenty of room even if I had job loss or temporary loss of income before purchasing. So that is the one reason I would not buy a home in 2024 is if I had very unstable income. Typically, we see this with business owners. Maybe you're in your first few years, you're in that infancy stage in your business, and it really does take four to five years to really establish yourself and to gain market share and to get consistent income. So if you do not have consistent income right now, even though most real estate agents would love to tie you up in a property and get you to buy something, I'm telling you it's okay if you don't right now. Do whatever you want. You might still want to buy, but... I recommend people be safe with their finances. I'm safe with my money. I'm conservative with my money. So I don't want to encourage people to make decisions that are going to put them in financial hardship. Hope this helps and thanks for watching.